You say the Doha round is looking a bit better. Nearly a year and a half ago, you said on the BBC that time was running out. Isn't it time to say that it has run out? And instead of keeping people's expectations cruelly alive, to say to them, it isn't going to happen. Well, I think Tell us it, now, you're among friends. Tell us now. Yeah. Just, just no us. press, no media. <laughs> no. Uh, Tim, uh, my answer to you is, is, uh, is the following. Things are looking better because time is running out. But it was running out a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but not you know, going to happen, is it? But you know, Tim, it's take a miracle. you know there's something about time. Yeah. Is that... We get older and die. Absolutely. And you've got less and less time as time progresses. And the Doha round is getting older and dying. Absolutely. It's not... I mean... Ask people uh, in Geneva a few kilometers from here whether it's alive or dying, they'll tell you it's alive. Of course they They've will, because working. their income depends on it. No, 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 no. If you Try, tell them it's dead, no. they have to go home. I, no, I can tell you, trade negotiators have many other uh, fishes to fry, notably because of this proliferation of... Uh, it's cottage industry in Doha, isn't it? Keeping it alive year it's, after year, getting take, take a topic like agriculture. Uh, we've never been so close to a deal with precise proposals on the table. Lots of things which were not at all in the picture when we last spoke, which I recognize was some time ago, uh, are now settled. Settled. What we are looking now is nuts and bolts. And you don't finish the trade negotiations without addressing nuts and bolts. If the political will was there, it could have been done years ago, couldn't it? What's going to produce the political will that hasn't been in evidence for all these years? Uh, um, I, I find you a bit, uh, a bit severe. Uh, if, uh, if international trade negotiations were only about political will, uh, uh, the round would be finished for a long time. The problem is that you need a mix of political will, which is what you need to overcome domestic constituency resistances, which are hurt, by more trade opening, and it's, it's a perfectly legitimate fact of political life that when you change the rules of international trade, some of your domestic constituencies like it, and others do not like it. So you have to face this political problem, a mix of political environment and technicalities. If you have a tariff reduction formula for agriculture, and you have sensitive products that will not take the whole cut of the full formula, the sort of less than deviation, and which tariff line. This is horribly complex. All right, Monsieur Lamy, if you come back next year, same time next year, and you still haven't got a deal, will you pronounce it dead? No, no, no. no Patient, no? no, 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 no. You can I'm, go on I'm, I'm, until the second I'm, coming. I'm in charge in this negotiation of, A, making it work, a sort of, you know, midwife pressure, uh, but at a level of ambition, which is the right one, which is the one members wanted when they started it. My firm sort of position is, as compared to where we were 18 months ago, we've gone, we've gone miles, miles ahead from where we were. Are we to the finishing line? Not yet, but I think we're nearing it. And what if you don't get there? If we don't get there, uh, I think it's, uh, it's, more than a, it's more than a trade problem. If we don't get there, if uh, after the huge uh, political capital uh, which developing countries uh, have invested in this round, not getting there uh, would be a huge disappointment and a huge frustration for them. And rightly so, because the key in this round is rebalancing a number of the rules which we now have in the system in favor of developing countries. Now, is this free? No. Some developing countries will have to pay a modest price for EU, US, Japan, uh, Australia, Canada, and a few others uh, to accept that, notably on agriculture. 
So, but we know that the politics of this is, is the world trading system able to renegotiate a number of its rules which are development unfriendly? If the round was to fail, that would mean the answer to this question is no. All right. And I think this would be, again, would go far beyond trade in terms of geopolitics. Developing countries have one organization in the international system where they know their voice, their weight, is more in proportion of today's reality than others. That's the, that's the WTO. Mm -hmm. 